Hello to very warm welcome to today's session brought to you by Team Textbook Super Coaching. I hope all of you are doing really well this Monday evening. Uh, as, as they say, Murphy's Law, what has to go wrong will go wrong. I think there were certain connecting hiccups, but I, I think we have connected it successfully. Can you all confirm whether you are able to hear me or not? Uh, good evening, good evening, good evening, Nisha, good evening, Dominator Rajneesh. Oh, perfect. I think the voice is audible. Perfect. I'll, uh, I'll also, good evening, good evening. Um, I'll also share it uh, on, okay, I think it was already shared in the morning. So probably we can quickly get started itself. Uh, good evening, good evening, Queen Khan, Ravi. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, perfect, perfect. Good evening, Jyoti. Good evening. All right. Let's quickly, quickly get started. Let's quickly get started with today's practice booster uh, class. Just like I told you last week bata diya tha that this entire week, non-stop, we're going to be practicing questions. And by the end of this week, that means by the end of Sunday, we would have actually practiced over 500 questions cumulative. So uh, this means that uh, 500 concepts will almost revise. Uh, today, we will start with basic things. Uh, so without further ado, jaldi se pehle start kar dete so that uh, you know we we just in the interest of time and we don't waste a lot of time. Uh, I've already told you that your quick mock net series hai. Of course, your concept classes are going on, and uh, 9 30 p.m. we are meeting for practice test, uh, practice questions also, sessions also. Or may I have detailed June plan B in aane wale dinon mein batane wali hon ki how we are going to be having uh, you know both asynchronous as well as synchronous learning both merged together. Uh, ye I will be letting you all know about it, okay? Uh, Alright, uh, so when, when we are talking about your mock nets, giving as many mock nets is actually one of the only solutions to up your game. Uh, and many a times, jitne questions aap uh, achhi tarah se practice karte, it becomes a little better. Uh, this is of course a sneak peek into the Telegram platform. Uh, for any doubts that you're having, please feel free to connect with us. Chalo, jaldi se, let's get started with today's uh, questions. Aaj ke jo aapke mock net ke questions hai, ye do parts ke andar I put them in two, uh, two slides. So let's quickly get started with the first one. Jaldi se, jaldi se start karte. Good evening. Aaj jaldi se uh, kaam ki baat karte hai. Let's just quickly get started. Let's just quickly dive into it. To fada fad se bataye, what is the right answer? What is the right answer over here? You have to match the poems with the poet. Simple. Jo poems hai, aap ne unko poets ke saath match karna hai. What is the correct answer here, everybody? Azdeez ne sahi chawaab de diya hai. That was very agile. That was very, very uh, quick and fast. So, jaldi se is, is answer ko ek baar dissect karte hai. Let's just try and understand this answer a little better. One second. Let's just try and understand this, uh, this question a little better for all of us. Okay, uh, so yaha par you have to match. I think majority of you have got the right answer over here. Frost at Midnight, kis ne likha hai? Who's the writer who's writing Frost at Midnight? This is actually published in uh, 1798 by S.T. Coleridge. So Samuel Taylor Coleridge is the person, S.T. Coleridge is the person who's writing this particular, who's, who's coming up with this particular work. So Coleridge ka ye work hai, jo aapne dhyan mein rakhna hai. This is a work associated with Coleridge. Uh, so yaha par you have A as Coleridge, 1 is 3. Uh, so you can easily use your elimination method and eliminate the other options. Okay? Eve of St. Agnes is written by Keats. Say Keats ka work hai. So you are able to see that this is a work associated with John Keats. Or ye C, aapka yehi pe answer nikal ke aagaya, aapko aage jana bhi nahi hai. Aadhe se other questions mein, aap ye jo match the following questions honge. Unme, if you are using the elimination method, you will be able to answer it. More blank, uh, lines written in the Veil of Chamuni. This is written by P.B. Shelley. And Sick Rose, I think last time we had discussed kiya tha ke this is a part of Songs of Experience by William Blake. Sick Rose ka jo symbol hai, we had YouTube ke abhi pichle hafte hi jo practice kiya te. We had talked about this, so I hope all of you remember that as well. Okay, so uh, this is absolutely the correct answer. This is the overall explanation. I'll quickly hide myself so that you'll be able to, uh, okay, I think I don't have to hide myself. Probably if I just uh, come a little this side, you will be able to see it. So yeah, 
गुजरात का पूरा एक्सप्लेनेशन है सैम्यूल टेलर कोलरिज जो है ही इज राइटिंग प्रोफेसर मिड नाइट इज पब्लिश इन सेवनटीन नाइनटी एट ईवो सिंह जो है ये गीत लिख रहे हैं इट्स नेरेटिव पोएम मॉ ब्लैंक लाइन रिटन इन द वेल ऑफ चैमोनी दिस इज रिटन बाई पी बी शेली राइट एंड इट वॉज पब्लिश बिकॉज ऑफ मेरी शेली सो इट्स एन ओल्ड एंड सिक रोज जो है दैट इज बाई ब्लेक सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव मेड अ नोट ऑफ दिस एंड यू हैव गॉट द राइट आंसर एज वेल मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन बुक्स हैं और उनके ऑथर्स हैं अगेन वेरी सिंपल ट्राई टू डू इट बिट बाय बिट यू विल बी एबल टू गेट द राइट आंसर जल्दी बताइए वॉट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ह्योर वॉट बिकम्स द राइट आंसर ह्योर चलिए फटाफट से बताइए वॉट बिकम्स द राइट आंसर ह्योर So when you're practicing these kind of questions, what becomes your answer over here? The ये books हैं आपके और ये authors हैं. आपको इनको match करना है. You have to match the books with the authors. Who's written Americana? Who's written Americana? अभी तक answer जो सही है वो आया नहीं है वैसे. Americana किसने लिखा है? Let's just do it together. Americana is a work written by Adichie. Adichie ने ये लिखा है. Adichie is a Nigerian writer. So Adichie is the one. A is two. A is two. आप इसको eliminate कर सकते हैं. तो आपने से कुछ जो बी बोल रहे हैं वो कैसे भी बोल रहे हैं बी तो आप बोल ही नहीं सकते ना बच्चे ए तो टू आ रहा है ना नो लॉन्गर एट ईज किसी का भी गलत नहीं होना चाहिए एक्चुअली इज राइटर हुज राइटिंग नो लॉन्गर एट ईज आपको पता होना चाहिए दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्क राइट सो ऑटोमेटिकली आपका ए सही जवाब है दूसरे क्वेश्चन में भी डोंट हैव टू गो फर्दर Aziz got it right. Uh, Banu got it right. Uh, Tithi got it right. A uh, dominator Rajneesh got it right. Dipsa got it right. I think Dipsa was the first person to get it right for this question. अगर उन्होंने यही आंसर दिया है. So Dipsa बच्चे का बिल्कुल सही जवाब आया था. Uh, so again, all of these are works by the African writers. Spanish Road has received the Booker Prize by Ben Okri. It's a joint Booker Prize also that you'll be able to see. Waiting for Barbarians by Kudsi. Kudsi is also another important writer. Um, he has written four, which is a Reworking of Robinson Crusoe. Today, we were were talking about periodicals in the 9:30 p.m. lecture where we were doing questions. So uh, I hope all of you are able to recollect that. So in me, गलत बिल्कुल नहीं करना है. You don't have to go wrong. There is no scope for going wrong with these kind of questions. ये please थोड़ा सा you know be a little more careful uh, while attempting such kind of questions. Be very careful. आपने बिल्कुल careful रहना है. Okay, assertion and reason-based questions form another chunk which is important for all of you. I hope you're all able to see this question. Closer dramas are written to be performed. Thomas Hardy's The Dynas is a closer drama. So, what is the correct answer here? यहाँ पर आपका क्या जवाब जवाब जो है वो सही हो जाएगा. What will be the answer? That will be correct. Closer drama are written to be performed, or closer drama are written to be are written to be read, right? Closer drama. So what is it? Excellent. Aziz has got it right. Ravi Pandey has got it right. Uh, Harsh Dari has got it right. Rishikesh Morey has got it right. Dominator Rajneesh Gupta. Uh, Uttam Sena. Everybody. So पहला ही गलत है. Closer drama is not to be performed. Performance में नहीं आता है. आपका जो closer drama आ रहा है. This is absolutely incorrect, right? This is absolutely incorrect. That is what you are able to see over here. Uh, तो इस चीज के अंदर what you have to keep in mind. You will need to remember. Um, just one second. Okay, right. So in cases में you will have to be a little more particular. You will have to keep that in mind that you know, uh, you you are going ahead and and uh, you're trying to get a basic understanding. So आपका जो A part है that is only incorrect. So A कहाँ कहाँ पे? So first option you will eliminate. First option what will you do? First option you will completely eliminate क्योंकि ये जो आपका पहला option है that is absolutely wrong. Okay. Uh, and uh, secondly uh, wrong हो जाएगा because A is correct that's wrong. So आप आप automatically देख रहे हो अगर आपने A सही कर दिया है तो you come to know that B is is the right answer by that logic right you come to know that d is the right answer by that particular logic so i hope you are getting more clarity on this just give me one second just give me one second um
Okay, right. So here your D option becomes the correct answer. I'll hide myself so that you're able to know. You are able to see this, right? So closet drama ki other examples kaun se hai? Milton ka Samson acting ice, Byron ka Manfred, Shelley ka Prometheus Unbound. All of these are examples that you're able to see that they are closet dramas altogether. Dynas is also a closet drama, by the way, right? Dynas is a closet drama. Therefore, D option was absolutely correct. Okay, jaldi se moving on to another assertion and reason based question. Be very careful about this question and please answer. So this question quickly. Okay, right. Most of you have got the right answer over here. Uh, lamp is called a rising meter. This is because, I, sorry, uh, iambic, iambic, uh, iambic is called the rising meter. This is because iambic is the strong stress at the end. So again, iambic, strophe, stro uh, so here, aapko pura ka pura ek chart for two syllable as well as three syllable. Three syllable mein aapka anapase, dactylic. Dactylic is a meter which is used in epic, so you should be knowing about it. Now, when we are talking about iambic, why is iambic a rising meter? It is considered to be a rising meter or you are able to see that when we are talking about it the first is correct this is because an iambic is the strong at the end so it's unstressed followed by a stress therefore it is called a rising meter stressed after towards the end so what are you able to see that whenever we are looking at the stress that's coming towards the end so uh, that really becomes an example of your rising meter so ye cheese you will have to keep in mind that how the iambic right uh, you are able to look at that how when we are looking at your iambic the iambic becomes a rising meter and this is also one second just give me one minute just answer all right just answer the next question um and give me one minute's time very quickly All right, so what do you right answer over here? I'm so sorry, I'm just coming on now. There's a bit of confusion. Okay. Thanks, Dominator. Dominator is like, please like this session. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that sort of a person you can say, give your attendance. Uh, I'll see the attendance via the likes. I cannot do that. Uh, not very good at branding in that particular way. So, uh, so what is the correct answer? Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Okay. So, isi tarah ke questions they will be asking you. These are the kind of questions that you will be getting. So, according to Marx, there's a difference between text and work. The work is dynamic and allows changes or interpretation, while a text does not. While a text does not. Okay. Now, roll up baat ka. What is he saying? Text or work mein kya hai? Text is actually uh, you know, it is dynamic and it allows, it allows for interpretation. Jabki word pehle se ban chuka hota hai. So when you are looking at a text, a text when it comes to you, you can read it in multiple ways. Lekin ek word ek singular way mein likha ja chuka hai. So that is what is the true nature and therefore you are able to see uh, that, uh, that you know C option over here becomes absolutely correct. Why is it correct? Because A is correct but R is not something uh, you know R is not something which is true. R, R ni galat kar diya hai. Text is the one which is dynamic and not the word right text is something which is dynamic td td that is how you can remember you consa work may other from work to text that people now should be producing texts which are more open-ended so here what are we able to see rolla bath has given the right answer Pehla wala jo hai, that of course he has given the right answer but dusra wala sahi nahi hai right dusra wala sahi nahi hai that is what you are able to largely look at so please keep this in mind uh, just remember that if because our first answer is is of course uh, correct yeah but when he talks about that there is a key difference that is of course there but the second one is not the correct answer so i hope uh, that is going to be clear to everybody that uh, when we are going again on a ulta so this is the essay that is uh, you know from work to text that is coming in 
my pen is not moving right now but i hope you are able to see the answers uh yahi question mai classroom students ko bata bhi rahi thi aaj that is what i was talking about so when we are talking about coffee houses right when we are talking about coffee houses they were called penny universities jab hum baronage literature ko dekh rahe the when we were looking and revising at baronage writings this is what i was telling you about ओके व्हाट द कम्स द करेक्ट आंसर जल्दी से बताइए ओके अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यू हैव गिवन द राइट आंसर ए इज एब्सोल्युटली द राइट आंसर सो कॉफी हाउसेस व्हाट आर पेनी यूनिवर्सिटीज नो व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय पेनी यूनिवर्सिटीज पेनी यूनिवर्सिटीज आर बेसिकली जस्ट लाइक वी से दैट वी आर ऑल स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ द व्हाट्सएप यूनिवर्सिटी और द टेलीग्राम यूनिवर्सिटी बिकॉज़ मोस्ट ऑफ द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट वी गेट इज फ्रॉम दीस यूनिवर्सिटीज राइट ऑफ नॉलेज यहां से नॉलेज आती है या एक्स व्हिच इज द न्यू नेम ऑफ ट्विटर बिकॉज़ हाफ द नॉलेज दैट यू गेटिंग इज फ्रॉम योर सोशल मीडिया सो सिमिलरली कॉफी हाउसेस वर गिवन द नेम ऑफ पेनी यूनिवर्सिटीज द कॉफी हाउसेस अलाउड सिविल डिबेट some discussions that is true so coffee a healthy drink from china was introduced in restoration period mein ye puri achhi tarah se use ho rahi hai okay so please keep that in mind uh, that here we are able to see that both a that is a correct answer okay uh, so here we are able to look at here we are able to look at the explanations also given i'll hide myself so you can see that that how copy houses and that is a recent restoration period ko ye bhi bola jata hai that it's a period where your uh, your so called uh, pro proliferation of copy houses is, is actually also seen over there to ye pointer aapko dhyan rakhna hai assertion and reason based questions are also easy it's not that they are uh, they are difficult it's not that they they will have certain problems that you won't be able to see and solve chalo dusri question pe aa rahe hain okay uh, दूसरे क्वेश्चन पे आ रहे हैं सो लेट्स क्विकली क्विकली टेक अ लुक एट इट कोल्ड्रिंक्स फ्रॉस्ट एट मिडनाइट कोल्ड्रिंक्स फ्रॉस्ट एट मिडनाइट एनीवे कोल्ड्रिंक्स फ्रॉस्ट एट मिडनाइट इज रिटन इन ब्लैंक वर्ड्स इट इज ब्लैंक बिकॉज़ द लाइंस आर अनराइम्ड इट इज ब्लैंक बिकॉज़ द लाइंस आर अनराइम्ड व्हाट बिकम्स द करेक्ट आंसर ओवर हियर यहां पर व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर Okay, lovely. Uh, A is absolutely the correct answer. So, for this frosted midnight is written in blank words. For this question, work in which one was being written? This is written in blank words. So that is absolutely correct. So this is a work that is written in blank words. And when we are talking about it, why is it called blank? Because the lines are unrhymed. That is right, right? Remember, blank words. Uh, when, when we are looking at it in comparison to free words, free words. So there is no net only. That is what we were talking about. So you are able to see that option A is correct. Blank words is iambic pentameter mostly, right? Blank words. Aapka kya hota hai? Blank words mostly is using iambic pentameter. Mostly you are using iambic pentameter. when when you are looking at blank words and earl of surrey was actually a person who was using the blank words right so we were also able to see that how earl of surrey was using the blank words especially when he was translating virgil's aeneid virgil's aeneid the duty bound aeneas is the hero how he uh, leaves dido the queen of carthage jisko christopher marlowe ne bhi likha hai milton is using blank words james thomson writing seasons the transitional poet is using blank words william wordsworth it's prelude william wordsworth ka jo prelude hai that is also in blank verse so blank verse at one time was a very commonly used form of meter that you were able to see okay moving on to the next question moving on to the next question i wanted to give you a flavor of assertion and reason based question this is the assertion that you are having uh, so this is the assertion that has come your way uh, graveyard uh, graveyard poets were a group of poets who wrote in 17th century they were thus called because their poems were set in graveyards they wrote profound poems about mortality what is the correct answer yahan par what becomes the correct answer graveyard po uh, poets to the so you are able to see just check it properly 
Graveyard poets, when you are looking at it, just read it. Graveyard poets were a group of poets who wrote in 17th century. Um, is, is it like 17th century mein hi ye log likh rahe hain? Okay, so yes, that's right. So, dekho, ab aap confused nahi hona hai. 17th century ka kya matlab hota hai? 17th century ka matlab hota hai 1600 to 1699. Jabki graveyard poets kab aa rahe the? Ye graveyard poets were coming in 1700 to 1799. So, jab century hoti hai, usse aap chalte hai, right? Jo century aap hai, when we write 19th century, what is 19th century? 19th century is 1800 to 1899. So, these graveyard poets were not written in the 17th century. They were not written in the 18th century. Mein likh rahe the. So, what are you able to see? You are able to see that your first option is wrong. Right? And the first option is that is absolutely incorrect. This is your option. Galat hai. Right? And therefore, what is the correct answer? Kya ho jata hai? correct answer ho jata hai. This is the, the next one that you are having. That becomes the correct answer. Uh, so here you are able to see and, and that is of course right because you know uh, they, they uh, were uh, talking about homes. They were uh, of course uh, you know they were talking about death mortality ka kya matlab hota hai? That, that's concerned with death. So A is wrong and R is correct. A is wrong and R is correct. Ye sare, please yaad rakna, ye sare examples of graveyard school of poetry. Uh, so Shaheen is cheating. Uh, okay. Ye sare ke sare graveyard school of poetry ke examples you'll have to remember uh, Thomas Parnell, A Night Piece on Death, Robert Blair's uh, The Grave, Thomas Gray, as well as you know the other poets who are coming in. So please remember, just say, Gothic literature ko bhi revise kar rahe the, um, and we were talking about that everybody would know about Anne Radcliffe's uh, The Castle of Odranto. You need to go a little further. Yeah, Beckford ka Vathic is combining uh, the Oriental Ishatic part as well. Who said uh, who said that you know John's uh, when 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 we're looking at it, Addison's writing is Attic and Ishatic. Arnold ne bola hai. But after Johnson kya kehta hai? It can be considered simple and plain, uh, but of course it's not ostentatious. However, it's still having meaning. And we must not forget that. Moving on to the next question that is coming your way. This is the next set of questions that is coming your way. Oh, what the? oh my god. I just have to get the battery one second. Please answer this question quickly. Okay, so what becomes the correct answer? I have to. Uh, this is come. Uh, what is the correct answer? A lot of you are writing uh, the, the correct answer. Bahut sahi, bilkul sahi. Uh, so here, uh, dekho, I, I haven't seen, I've seen a lot of, Devashish has got the right answer. Devashish has got the right answer. So Devashish is actually one of the only people who's got it. Uh, ab dhyan se isko dekhte hai. Lucas att attacked the modernist writers because he disagreed with their experimental form of writing. Alright, now uh, remember YouTube class mein, when I was walking you through Marxism and I was telling you about Marxism, we George Lucas pe aaye the, and George Lucas is not happy because he says that avant-garde literature makes them forget about the background. E point aapko yaad hai? I had shown it to you in that particular session. Now, so A is right, Lucas was not happy with the modern style of writing. That is when Terry Eagleton comes and he says that actually modernist writing is actually avant-garde. Now look at the second point. He believed that experimental writing was not a faithful depiction of the society. That is what he believed. So basically there are no two ways. A and R are both correct. So any option which is actually trying to 
राइट एनी ऑप्शन विच इज विच इज एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू एलिमिनेट ये तो आपने हटाई देना है कि यू नो आर इज नॉट करेक्ट और ए इज रॉन्ग ये तो आपने हटाई देना है दिस गोज अप टू द क्वेश्चन अब जो आपका ये आ जाता है वट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू डू आर डेर फोर ए आर डेर फोर ए करके एक बार प्लग इन कीजिए ब्लू कास्ट बिलीव दैट एक्सपेरिमेंटल राइटिंग वॉज नॉट अ फेथफुल डिपिक्शन ऑफ द सोसाइटी डेर फोर ब्लू कास्ट अटैक द मॉडर्निस्ट राइटर्स बिकॉज ही डिसग्री विद देर एक्सपेरिमेंटल फॉर्म अब यहाँ पर प्रॉब्लम क्या आ रही है यहाँ पर प्रॉब्लम ही आ रही है दोनों स्टेटमेंट्स इंडिविजुअली सही हैं, ठीक है ल्यूकास बिलीव कि एक्सपेरिमेंटल नहीं है दैट इज ट्रू लेकिन इसलिए बिकॉज ही इज अगेंस्ट सो सी इफ आई एम सेइंग दैट यू नो आई डोंट वांट यू टू डू दिस राइट सो यहाँ पर वट आर वी एबल टू सी दैट आर इज एक्चुअली नॉट द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन जब आप आर को पुट इन करें सोशन इज कमिंग दैट ही एज अ बायस्ट अगेंस्ट मॉडर्निस्ट राइटिंग you understand in that point therefore a and r are both correct separately but when you will be putting it this will not be making sense so abhi kya ho raha hai abhi jo aap r therefore a put kar rahe ho it is looking that because lucas has a bias towards modernist writings therefore he is not liking it okay so that explanation agar hota jo jo aapka reason mein de rakha hai wo assertion mein diya hota and jo aapka assertion mein diya hua hai वो अगर रीजन में आता यू नो या फिर उसके और एलेबरेशन होता देन इट वुड द करेक्ट आंसर सो हियर व्हाट आर वी एबल टू सी हियर वी आर एबल टू सी क्लियरली दैट बी बिकम्स द करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है सो आई होप एवरीबडी इज क्लियर अबाउट व्हाट इज ल्यूकास द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग ओवर हियर इज आई होप यू आर क्लियर अबाउट वॉट इज ल्यूकाश इज मीनिंग वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ओवरऑल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ मॉडर्न स्टाइल सो ल्यूकास मॉडर्न स्टाइल को अच्छा नहीं समझते हैं बिकॉज इट इज एक्सपेरिमेंटल ओके एंड ही थिंक्स दैट सब्जेक्टिविटी जो है दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ राइटिंग्स दैट आर हैविंग दे आर नॉट रियली ट्रूली इंट्रेंसिकली गुड ही रादर इज वेरी हैप्पी विद रियलिस्टिक राइटर्स बिकॉज वो क्लास कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन को दिखा पा रहे हैं एंड रिमेंबर ल्यूकास जो है ही इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग कॉन्ट्रोडिक्टेड बाई अदर मार्क्स स्कूल सो जस्ट वो आपको कुछ और नहीं करना है even we had actually talked about this in the uh, last week's youtube class when we were discussing about peterberry and sarah stone so if you just revisit that particular lecture notes uh, about how these marxist critics are uh, are associating art what are what is their understanding of art ye aapko bilkul achhi tarah se clear ho jayega aur usme koi aapko pareshani nahi rahegi Uh, okay, which of these uh, is an epistolary novel by Jane Austen? Which of these is an epistolary novel that Jane Austen has written? What do we mean by epistolary novel? Novel written in letter format. आज ही मैंने आपको बताया था. Citizen of the World is uh, a series of letters by a China philosopher uh, who is there in London, looking at London, and then he's writing it back to his hometown. This is by Oliver Goldsmith. right uh, so we we had talked about it b is a uh, b is is this periodical magazine that uh, oliver goldsmith was writing which only went for 8 weeks ye bhi hum log discuss kar rahe the aaj ki class mein i hope you are revising it okay absolutely right now yahan par you all answer the correct answer lady susan is the correct answer aap eliminate bhi karte to aapko pata chal jata baki works hai hi nahi right roxana is not by him candide is not by him well there is the one who's writing candy which is a beautiful work by the way uh, that all of you should do it in greater detail so what are we able to see this lady susan is the epistolary novel that jane austen has written uh, this came in 1871 candy is by walter cecilia is by fanny burney cecilia ka please remember the subtitle of cecilia memoirs of an heiress uh, roxana the fortunate mistress this is also important this is by daniel defoe okay so all of these works are important in the subtitles please keep that in mind this is what i was telling you also about it. who wrote the novel saladin and his times who's the writer who's written this particular work called saladin and his times saladin and his times this is a work which is coming from the pen of which writer and this writer is again a booker award winning writer that we talked about rather a person who pioneered uh, the booker award so what is the correct answer over here yahan pe kya correct answer hai saladin and his times saladin and his times who's the one who's writing it who's the one who's writing this particular work peter kelly oscar and lucinda peter kelly true history of kelly gang pat barker is also a very important writer uh, pat barker has written the ghost road uh, which is a very famous work of his no 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 it's not pat barker 
Harsh Desai has got the right answer. It is newbie, right? It is newbie. Uh, he's the one who's writing Saladin and his Times. So Saladin and his Times, which was published uh, in 1983, this is coming by newbie. You baki works for the Shika Penlo Fitzgerald is writing the bookshop. Uh, so here, please keep that in mind. I, I hope you're all able to see the screen and you're able to understand it. Achha. Now, this is an interesting question, which is directly actually coming. Achhi tarah se dekhe aur bataye. Uh, in which of the following years were the two winners of the Booker Prize? Booker Prize ke do winners konsa saal mein the? So, which work are we talking about? Which work are we talking about over here? Which work are we talking about over here? In which of the following years were there two winners of the Booker Prize? No winners of the Booker Prize? Okay, very good, very good, very good, very good. So, what is the correct answer? What is the correct answer? So B and C, so you were able to see that 74 may, remember when Vaudemar was getting it jointly and then Ben Okri was getting it jointly, right? So you were able to see that both 74 and 1992, we had even done this. That is what I told you also. So uh, 69, of course, Newbie got the first prize, something to answer. Uh, that is where he got it. And Newbie is also writing Saladin and his times, just like we saw it over here. And he was a recipient of the first book or something to answer, right? Uh, 1974 may, God. Uh, Godimer and Stanley Middleton got the Booker Prize. Uh, Stanley Middleton got it for Holiday and Godimer got it for Conservationist. Again, a beautiful tale. Uh, right? And Godimer uh, is getting it, of course. And then what are you able to see? You're able to see that 1992 may both Barry Unsworth and Michael Ondaatje. So Barry Unsworth and Michael Ondaatje, they are getting it. And we covered this. And I told you also, please revise. This is what I was holding Devuku yesterday, I think, classroom students also. Till the time you will not be organized or up revise nahi karoge, it will be very problematic. So please make it a routine that you're very concise with your notes collection and you can learn it from your peers. I think some of your peers are so diligent the way that they maintain their notes. It's very impressive. So all of you should also be like uh, each one of them. Okay. So please make sure that you know you, you make a note of this. Okay. Find the incorrect pairs. You need to find the incorrect pairs. Jaldi se bataye, please find the incorrect pairs that are coming in. Uh, so when you're looking at this, what are you supposed to be doing? You need to find which one is actually incorrect. These are the names. These are the names. I hope you know that you have started Bronte, Current Bell. You will know that these are the names. Ravi, Ravi, don't get confused. Hillary Mantel is getting the Booker Prize twice. It's different. Joint Booker means एक साल में दो लोगों को Booker दिया है. So Margaret Atwood के time पे Testaments के time पे भी ये dual Booker आ गया था. That was also there. So don't get confused. Okay. What is the right answer over here? What is the right answer over here? So remember, O. Henry was William Sidney Potter, right? So, so when, when we are talking about, you should know that you should know that you should know that you should Future Dreams has given the right answer over here. So, what are you able to see? You are able to see that Pablo Neruda is right, right? Uh, when, when we are looking at Pablo Neruda, Pablo Neruda, that, that is absolutely the correct answer that you are able to see. Then when you go further, Carol Ben, Charlotte Bronte, that is also right. Again, the pen, I don't know why. Anyway, uh, then what are you able to look at? Then you are able to see that Ted Hughes, Daniel Hearing is coming in. And Saki was H.H. H. Monroe. Saki was H.H. H. Monroe. O. Henry was William Sidney Potter. So H.H. H. Monroe or O. Henry ko inoni galat confuse kar diya. That is the reason it is wrong. Uh, you again have to find the incorrect pairs. You again need to find the incorrect pairs. Okay. Incorrect pairs. Pataye kaun se incorrect pairs hain. Which are incorrect pairs? Austin, Austin Clark, Rowinton Mystery, Alice Munro, Jan Martel. Tell me, tell you, what is the correct answer here? What becomes the correct answer here? So when we are looking at it, which becomes the correct answer here?
Very good, very good, very good. Um, but abhi I'm looking for the right answer over here and I still haven't got the right answer. Achha, you people are giving me uh, not the options. Okay, fine. So, Jan Martel, so what, what, what really are you able to see over here is that when you're looking at the answers, Jan Martel, we ate the children last. Alice Munro is the moons of Jupiter. Rohintan mystery, the origin of waves. The origin of waves is wrong. Okay. Austin Kath has written the meeting point. So the only wrong answer that you have is Rohintan mysteries, the origin of waves. The only wrong answer that you're able to see over here is the origin of waves, right? So the origin of waves, that is the wrong answer that is coming in. That is the wrong answer that you're able to see. So ye aap dekh pa rahe ho that all of them. So Jan Martel is writing We Ate the Children. The Moons of Jupiter is by Alice Munro. Uh, Alice Munro, the Canadian writer getting the Nobel Prize as well. The Meeting Point is also by Austin Clark. The one for Rohintan Mystery is wrong. Okay, moving on to the next one. Who wrote The Labyrinth of Solitude? Who's the writer who's writing The Labyrinth of Solitude? Who's the writer who's writing The Labyrinth of Solitude? Labyrinth of Solitude is written by which writer? Oh, Aziz, option is not galat. Option is bilkul say A is the correct answer. Option bilkul say hai. A is the correct answer. Only C is wrong. Option bilkul say hai bache. Don't go wrong. Okay, A is the correct answer over here. Matlab C nahi sahi hai. So option is perfectly there. Okay. If pen nahi chal raha, tabhi I'm gonna be ending also. Anyway, who wrote The Labyrinth of Solitude? Labyrinth of Solitude kis ne likha hai? Who is the writer who's written Labyrinth of Solitude? Labyrinth of Solitude is written by... able to see the... Anyway. Labyrinth of Solitude is written by... No. No worries, no worries. Okay, great. What is the correct answer over here? Labyrinth of Solitude kis ne likha hai? Who's the writer who's written Labyrinth of Solitude? I still haven't got the right answer. Dipsa has given the right answer. Excellent. Octavia Paz is the correct answer. Very good, Dipsa. Dipsa ka bilkul sahi jabab hai. Labyrinth of Solitude. This is by the Mexican writer Octavia Paz. Please remember that. And here, the issue of identity, psychological labyrinth, that is what is called. Labyrinth is like, you know, the kind of maze that you are able to see. Octavia Paz is creating that. Who is the creator of the character? Julian Sorel. Julian Sorel ka jo character hai, who is the one who has created this particular character? Julian Sorel. Remember when we are looking at black and the white, the red and the black, the red and the black. Kisne likha hai? The red and the black. Who's the writer associated with red and the black? And this is a character who's literally representing uh, Napoleon. Thank you, Bache Queen. Okay, what is the right answer? Stondal. Very good. Uh, so, who is this? Abhilasha got it right. Abhilasha got it right. Amiya got it right. Stondal is absolutely the correct answer. So, Julian Sorel ka jo character hai. This is a character that is created by Stondal. Stondal is creating the character in the red and the black. Okay. This is a very easy question. Who among the following played the most significant role in mobilizing the concept of culture intermediaries? Culture intermediaries, culture intermediaries, capillaries of power, culture intermediaries. Who is the person who actually gave this concept of cultural intermediaries? Cultural intermediaries, who is the one who has given the concept of cultural intermediaries? Okay, good, good, good. Peri Burdu is absolutely the right answer. Fine, Peri Burdu is absolutely the correct answer over here. So what are we able to see that this notion of culture inter intermediaries is given by Burdu, right? This is given by Burdu. So Burdu is the one who is giving this particular notion altogether. So Burdu is the correct answer here. So please keep that in mind. Burdu gives it uh, over here. Okay, from whom does Gayatri Chakravarti Spivak borrow the term subaltern? Subaltern is the term that uh, Spivak has come from. And we have been discussing this thinker as well. So if you look at it, you will be able to answer it. This thinker could be, we have been talking about it. From whom does Gayatri Chakravarti Spivak borrow the term subaltern? Subaltern term, where is she borrowed? From where is she borrowed the term subaltern? She has borrowed the term subaltern from where? From where has she borrowed the term subaltern? Absolutely right. Antonio Gramsci. Antonio Gramsci. Very good. Antonio Gramsci is the right answer. A question I am giving you and I hope you remember it, uh, Antonio Gramsci is Italian. I am giving you one more question. Pilgrim's regrets. 
पिलग्रम्स रिग्रेट इज रिटन बाय नीचे वाला ऑप्शन क्लियर नहीं है बट वो नीचे वाला ऑप्शन भी सही नहीं है पिलग्रम्स रिग्रेट इज द बुक रिटन बाय पिलग्रम्स रिग्रेट इज द बुक रिटन बाय This is a book written by C.S. Lewis, right? Pilgrim's Regress is a book which is coming from the pen of C.S. Lewis. So C.S. Lewis is the writer who's writing Pilgrim's Regress. Pilgrim's Regress is by C.S. Lewis. Okay. Uh, so please keep that in mind that C.S. Lewis is the one. Pilgrim's Progress is Bunyan. Zadi tar bache Bunyan ko mark kar dete, but that is not the right answer. Pilgrim's Regress, which is an allegorical work. What is it telling you about? This is telling you about the contemporary world problems of fascism, totalitarianism. That is what it's discussing. Okay, the word mythopoeia means myth making and has been used in English uh, since at least eighteen forty six. Mythopoeia is a poem by. Mythopoeia is a poem by. We have no one here. We have discussed it also. Mythopoeia is a poem that is by. Who is the writer associated with the poem Mythopoeia? Mythopoeia is written by whom? Mythopoeia is written by whom? Very good, Dominator Rajneesh. Absolutely right. J R R Tolkien is the right answer. So Tolkien, Tolkien is the person who's writing it. Tolkien is the uh, person who's coming up with this particular work, right? Tolkien has written the work, Michael Poya. I think there's some issue with the pen. We'll get that sorted uh, tomorrow. I want all of you to revise. कल हम लोग non-stop fifty questions करेंगे because your deck is also already done. And day after tomorrow, we will increase it to seventy-five questions. and after that we will put it to 100 questions aur fir regularly hum 100 to 200 questions hi practice karne wale hain ulta aapka is weekend pe marathon bhi hoga and in that marathon we'll be covering 100 most expected questions so uh, those are questions which are not exactly previous years but very similar uh, based on the trend, trends and pattern to kal hum log 50 questions karenge fir uske baad 75 fir uske baad 100 100 maintain karenge we'll also try uh, to make it uh, a little more than that okay uh, so please remember uh ha exactly it is don't worry please don't worry about it because your decks and all are already in place so you don't have to worry at all in case if there are any doubts please feel free to put it in the comment section i have asked you also if you need any help if you need any support please let us know about it and i will catch up with all of you then tomorrow fine thank you so much everyone for joining take good care of yourselves bye thank you thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you, a uh, dominator. Thanks, Vishal. Uh, thanks, Devashish. Thanks, Monica. Good night. Ask me, please. All the things to revise. Kar lena, uh, because that will be very important. Thanks, Vishal. All right, everyone. Thank you. Thank you everyone take care